Hello, thanks for joining us today. Uh, here at Newquay Garden Centre, we, uh, we do our own bedding. We sow our own seeds. So what I thought we'd do today is just give a basic tutorial on how to grow bedding plants from seed. It's really quite easy. There's, there's not too much to be involved about. All you really need is a few basic things, good compost, plenty of light, and plenty of water and of course heat. So the first thing we need to do is we choose the size of the tray or pot that we're going to grow in. So here we have a full size standard seed tray and a half size. If you want to go for something smaller there are multi cells you can pot into. Now these come in, this one here is in a, a six pack. There are nine packs, 12 packs, four packs. So you can have any compubation or you, similarly, you can just pot straight into a, a plant tray. So the first thing we're going to do is fill the seed tray up with some compost. Be sure to get a decent compost. Sometimes the cheapest is not necessarily the best. So what we do is we just basically fill up the seed tray and as you might have noted there's some quite large clumps in there. What we want to do is just break them up and crumb them down to a small size. If you propagate into this it just makes it a little bit harder for the, the seedlings to root into. And what we're trying to pr produce here is the ideal growing medium. Something that's light and airy not too high in nutrients. So once we've got the compost in the tray, the next thing is just to give it a really good watering. And when I say good watering, I really mean a good soak. Because you may have a couple of weeks from watering to the seeds propagating. So the next step is just to give it a light tap down and the reason we give it a light tap down is just to make it a nice level surface in which to sow the seeds in. Now we don't want to push down too hard because we don't want to squeeze the compost down. By squeezing the compost down you reduce the air which makes it harder for the seedlings to root into. So we're ready to go really. The next thing we need to do is to label what we're going to sow. Now in this particular case I'm sowing some petunias. So what I do is I just write down the name and the variety so there's no mixing up later on when you go to prick out. And we put the, the variety, the name and also the date. And we just put that in there so we can just trip, keep a track of them. Now the seedlings, depending on the variety, will take anything from a week to three weeks to germinate. What we're sowing here today is petunias and they may take probably two to three weeks. So I just carefully open them out and I put them in the cusp of my hand. Now there's a couple of different ways to propagate seed from here. You can either pick it up and broadcast it or you can put it in the cusp of your hand and just tap and just gently move across making sure you evenly space the seedlings throughout the whole of the seed tray. And what you don't want to do is clump them into one pocket so they broadcast nicely over the entire seed tray. Now with petunias when you propagate them they don't actually need to be covered. So it's best just to put a plastic film over the top. It can be a polythene bag or maybe a bit of cling film and just leave it over the top because they need light to germinate. But the other thing is from this position they need to have bottom heat. So it's a bit hard to replicate that in your home. You may have a propagator in your greenhouse. If not then maybe a windowsill or even an airing cupboard somewhere where there's warmth. 
keep an eye on them. Maybe not for the first week, but certainly in the second or third weeks. And then you'll find the seedlings will emerge. You wait until they get the first set of true leaves. The first set of leaves that will come through are not the true leaves. The second, the second set of leaves that come through are the true leaves. Once they've established a nice full set of true leaves, then they can get pricked out. Okay, 